I have had a tricky week. <laughs> Here's what happened. I have seen these beautiful cakes all over TikTok and I was like, obviously I'll make one. I know how to make cakes. I used to be like a little cake stress myself. I'll just throw one together real quick and I'll do a video decorating it because like the decorating is the fun part. Like, um, that's how this video sort of turned out. The just out of vengeance against myself, I will be doing a Valentine's Day cake video that looks like that and is super pretty and cute, but it has not happened yet. Then, I, that was yesterday, which was Wednesday. Today's Thursday, and I'm putting this video out today, which is Friday. Well, tomorrow, but today for you. So then I was like, well, crapola, I, I need to make a new video. So I was like, I'm gonna do another painting video because you guys seem to like those, which was really exciting for me because it made me happy that you guys liked it and it seemed like some new people saw it and that was exciting. So I was like, cool, I'll make a painting video. And it was just bad. <laughs> it was just not good. This is sort of how that one went. I think we finish this tomorrow. So, so today I have some focaccia that I've been meaning to make today because I'm gonna start selling focaccia, which I'm really excited about. But I was like, you know what I actually haven't shown is my process of like how I like to decorate my focaccia. We're gonna be making some Valentine's Day focaccia and I'm gonna take you to Whole Foods with me and we are going to see how that process goes. We're gonna try some new things in decorating I'm really excited about. So let me walk you through how this video is gonna be. I made my focaccia dough two days ago and that video you can watch right here. I think it's on this side. I've been doing this for three years. I think it's on this side, three and a half. Today we're gonna be going through the decorations, how I find those, what I think would be cute. And this morning I already started by taking my focaccia out about four hours before I'm gonna put it in the oven. You can see a sped up clip of that right here. going to go to Whole Foods. I will take you on my little walk and uh, show you what I like to get. Also disclaimer, you do not have to go to Whole Foods to get any of these things. I like Whole Foods because they have an olive bar and hot bar and it just makes life a little easier to get one or two of something as opposed to like a whole jar of something I might not use that often. And it's just walking distance. So that's another reason I like to go. So I have a heart pan and a circular pan of the focaccia, the whole point of the video. What I got from Whole Foods, you guys saw, I like to kind of go all around, see if anything particularly inspires me, get some of the staples. Like I always love these little sweet peppers. I got these little like pickled mushrooms. I was very specific with, with which ones I got. I got an eggplant for the first time because this beautiful outside skin I think might be really gorgeous to write letters with. Now what I'm gonna do with it, I'm going to, I'm gonna Kendall Jenner it. Um, no. I'm gonna cut off this top part and I have some paper towels over here. Eggplant is really watery so you usually have to take some salt to it and let it sort of expand express itself. <laughs> so I'm going to actually cut out a good chunk of this. I really wanna just keep the skin and a tiny bit of the flesh so I can sort of flatten the skin out. Okay, I think this might be good. This is not the safest way to do this. I am not advising that you do it that way. Cut out this meat. See, now we have this nice skin. I'm gonna cut this. So it can sort of flatten out a little better and we're gonna cut that off as well. Okay, here's the thing I'm thinking. For the heart one, I don't want it to be too on the nose. So I don't want it to say like, I heart you on a heart. I sort of, I want the heart one to say be mine and it's gonna be B-E-E -E mine. I'm gonna put a bunch of little B's around it, right? And then with the circular one, I'm gonna say I heart you because that one can be a little more heart sees. <gasps> no, my skin. Well, not my skin, the eggplant skin. It would probably be better if my knife was sharper, but it isn't. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Now we've got some skin, some skin. We are going to salt it. 
so that it draws out some of the moisture. That was quite a bit, so let's chill out on that. So while that is drying out and vibing out, we are going to get the rest of our stuff ready. Here is what our circular focaccia looks like before we dimple it. It smells really good. On the I Heart You one, I also wanna do some little flowers and I like to do flowers in a couple of different ways. One of them, I will just cut this up into little coins. Oh, I guess I did that one wrong. And this will kind of be our little flower body. And it's just like these colors are really vibrant. I think they'll just end up looking really, really pretty. We're gonna save our yellow for the bees. Now for stems, I have some little parsley. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. For stems, I have some little parsley that I'm gonna pick the leaves off and move around <laughs> because I'm crazy. And we're also gonna slice up this jalapeno a little bit. And we're gonna be very careful not to touch our eyes or anything after we slice up this jalapeno. Which, oh my gosh, something I learned. The heat from a jalapeno is actually not in the seeds. It's in the pith, which is that white part. Did you guys know that? I also got some rosemary. I always use rosemary because it's got these nice little leaves. I'm gonna take some of these leaves off to use as separate different leaves. The rosemary stem is very, very woody. Unlike a parsley stem that's really malleable, this is basically like a little twig. So it's not very fun to eat, but rosemary smells and looks so perfect that we like to hold on to that. I'm gonna just chop some green onions to have the little circles of the green onions. We're going to get our little bee bodies ready. I will take one of our yellow peppers and just make some little strips. There's a lot of water in these, so they're gonna shrink up. So think about that when you're cutting the sizes you want. So I usually cut my strips and stuff a little bit thicker than I actually think I need because the oven is gonna draw a lot of that moisture out. Are these black olives? Because that would be good. I don't think those are good anymore. It's okay. We have Kalamata. Now also to make little strips, I'm gonna cut these in half and then threes. Our sh little shallot sections are gonna be for the wings of the bee. <sighs> Do we need anything else? So it's gonna say, oh, you know what? Let's, let's get these guys going. So we're just gonna pat these dry, just so they don't put too much moist. I'm patting the eggplant dry, I don't think you guys can see. <laughs> just so they don't impart too much moisture into the focaccia itself. So these are nice and flexible. Now I'm gonna use cookie cutters to get in there and get the heart and the eye and the Y-O-U, so. Look how cute that is, a little heart. Okay, there's the I and the O, U, Y. Hell yeah, baby. Is it better if I start here instead, like on this opposite side? Let's see. Yeah, cause maybe, yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, dude, yeah! See, I for Irene. Let's start decorating. Are done with our focaccia. Here is our little bee mine. I did this one on uh, like a TikTok live, so I didn't record doing this guy. But we also have our little. I, our, I heart you. It's really cute. It's gonna be so good. Okay, so we've got I heart you, and we've got. Be mine. Now, with all the stuff I didn't use, I'm just gonna save for later. And I have all those chopped up veggies that I just put in a little Tupperware with some paper towels so they don't go bad. Cause I'll probably be making more of these like this weekend. Now here's something I wanna hear from you about. You guys saw the way my brain sort of works when I'm thinking about what I can use to cut into letters, make into flowers. Like I would love to hear what you guys think would be good or sounds cool. Like uh, something I learned even just from this time is that the parsley, see the parsley leaves, stay pretty green, which is really cool because a lot of times these bake for like 40, 45 minutes usually. And a lot of times things will brown. So like see the top of the our shallot got brown, which is great. I love the caramelization, but sometimes things get a little too brown. And so that's really good to know. So what's some stuff that you guys think would be cool on focaccia art? What do you think you'll put on yours? Do you wanna 
cut up tomatoes? Do you want to do sun-dried tomatoes? Here's something I was thinking. I was thinking maybe asparagus to use um, to write the letters because I have these little cutouts that I can use, but maybe if you're at home and you're like, I want to write something on it, but I don't have those letters. I don't want to buy them or find them. You could probably, something I was going to play around with is like blanching asparagus and then cutting it up. Uh, and blanching is just like boiling it for a couple seconds so it softens up, putting it in an ice bath so it stays nice and green and crunchy and you're not cooking it too much before it goes in the oven and like forming it into letters that way. I think that could be cool. So let me know down in the comments below what you think would be fun for focaccia, what you think I could use next time, what you might use in your own. And let me know if you like this kind of video where you sort of see the way my brain works with this kind of baking stuff. I'm just so excited to hear what you think. So thank you so much. And I appreciate you sitting through a video where I'm trying something a little bit new. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I will see you next Tuesday for our podcast and next Friday for another food video. I'm gonna try to conquer that cake. I'm gonna do it. I know I can, so I will. I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.